can I trust anyone? Trusting people is hard because of the complexity of the human nature and the tendency for men to disappoint. And there are a lot of people that have been disappointed by other people for trusting. Trusting is the trait of having confidence in someone's honesty and their reliability. Most times, people that have tried that, because you may not have had the template or basis to know how to go about trusting people, they fall into the wrong hands of trusting the wrong people, and then they end up getting hurt. In John chapter 2, Jesus did miracles, and people believed him for those miracles. But the Bible says but Jesus did not trust the people. He knew what all people are like. He did not need anyone to tell him what people are like. He knew already what was really in each person. So the fact that they believed in him did not make him start to trust them or entrust himself to them. Because sometimes we could be swayed that if people trust us, then they deserve to be trusted back. And that's not the basis for trust. You don't trust because you have been trusted. For a thriving relationship, you need some level of trust. What are those things to note before you trust someone? There are a few things I want to speak about that you should note before you should trust someone. Number one is trust is earned. Trust is not a gift that you should give to someone based on proximity. Because you are close to someone or you've started speaking with someone or you've spoken with someone for a while does not mean you should trust them. Because you could hear someone say, oh, we've been friends for a while, we've been close for a while, we've been speaking, we've been hanging out. Don't you trust me? And the truth is, why should I trust you? I barely know you. The fact that we are speaking and I know your name, I know where you come from, or I may even know your family members, do not mean that I know you as a person. Because knowing a person is true, it's the person's character. Most times you can't even know someone by their actions. Because some actions could be so deceptive. You may not really know someone through their actions, but then you judge or try to analyze people's actions. Since you can't read their intentions to know why are they doing this, but you can try to analyze their actions to somehow see if it can lead you to know what is the intention behind this action so that you will not be deceived by someone's niceness towards you and then you start trusting them based off on the fact that we've been close and they have been nice so maybe they deserve to be trusted trust is end and for someone to end your trust shouldn't be based on some weak assessment because if you get to know someone and then you start trusting so easily you could be easily deceived also Secondly, trust is precious and it is a process. You don't just wake up to trust people. It takes time. Trusting is not a one-off thing, but it's a progressive thing. It's something that one thing leads to another that leads you to a place of, I trust this person. Because I've seen a lot that agrees. I've seen so many things that makes me come to the conclusion of, I can trust this person to some certain degree because you cannot totally trust someone you cannot wholly trust someone so there has to be a certain level of knowing that you know by the time you don't realize that trust is a process you can either easily trust without doing the work to know if they are trustworthy or you could be on the sideline and say i don't want to trust because i've been hurt before because based off on past experiences and trauma and happenings you may not be able to trust people and there are two sides to this people that don't trust enough come off as cynical skeptical suspicious people and controlling people because it is so easy for you to control the narrative when you've not put trust in it when you've not trusted the person you can then stand on the outside and be controlling and be manipulative but by the time you trust easily it also might lead to a wrong place because you could be naive vulnerable gullible and foolish because you are trusting someone you barely know and as such when whatever will hit you comes you've not braced for that impact and then it's going to throw you off your feet so that is why you need to know that trust is a process it's not something you can just rush or let yourself to be rushed by someone don't let anybody rush you to trust that should you rush yourself anything that is a process involves time and intentionality which means it takes time and the work that you do to get to that place of trusting people. The other thing I mentioned is that it is precious. Your trust is precious for the fact that by the time you give the gift of trust, you are opening up yourself, becoming vulnerable. Trust is precious and it's something you should only give to someone that deserves it. The Bible says, don't waste what is holy 
on people who are unholy. Don't throw your pills to pigs. So before you trust someone, you should ask yourself, who is this person? The third thing to note is that trust has boundaries. Before you could trust someone, there should be some boundaries and parameters that you hold in place to say, okay, this is why I'm trusting, but this is why I want to trust. Not based on, oh, I should just trust them because we have been close. Or I should trust because I'm pressured to trust. That's wrong. For you to trust, the boundaries are defined by your value system and your standards. And as a believer, as a Christian, your standards and your value system are defined by the word. So your standards and your value system cannot be defined by the culture and what the world says. As a believer, your values and the things you stand for should determine who you get into your space and who you want to trust. You know, you can't be unequally yoked. So by the time you start trusting someone that you are unequally yoked, what are you looking for? Are you trying to please the person? Or are you trying to be relevant? So trust has boundaries. I hate this quote, the greater the trust, the greater the betrayal. Someone you should not trust is actually someone you do not know. And when I talk about knowing someone, Sometimes you could be with someone from childhood till they grow up. And the fact is, change is constant and people keep changing. So they were my long-time friends and they wouldn't know that they would do that. The truth is, they might have changed along the way. And you may not have really known the core of their being. So it's very possible that they were not what you saw them to be. Maybe they were not exposed to things that brought out the real thing that they were from the core. You have to understand that trust has boundaries, which means you should not trust in ignorance. I trust you, but if you cross my boundaries, that's where it ends. I trust you, but don't invade in this place because I don't want you to do that. And there is lamented in Psalms 55. It wasn't an enemy who taunted me. If it was my enemy filled with pride and hatred, then I could have endured it. I would have just run away. But it was you, my intimate friend, one like brother to me. It was you, my advisor, the companion I walked with and walked with. David was talking about Ahitophel, one of his closest companions, his closest friend, who ran and joined his son Absalom when the son came to fight him for the kingdom. David was so hard because he had trusted his friend. He would never have believed his friend would do that. Now, this is his friend who knows almost every detail about him. And that is the, the thing about trust. Because by the time you trust people, you allow them to invade your personal space. So trust is like giving someone freedom for invasion of your personal life, your secrets of your space. Before you let someone in, you should analyze who is this person? What do they stand for? Are we having the same value system? Because if we are unequally yoked, why should I trust this person? In conclusion, having the propensity to trust easily does not mean you should not be wise to trust. Because even scripture says you should walk circumspectly, walk wisely, not as fools. Because the days are evil. You cannot give total trust to anyone. You cannot trust humans the way you trust God. And this is what I would say to you as a believer and to myself also. When you trust people, please lean on your understanding. It is only God that when you trust, you should not lean on your understanding because you can know God. You can figure him out. He is trustworthy and he is faithful and he is good. But we know the human condition that we can be trustworthy because sometimes we are very selfish. And based on our selfishness, we can break trust from other people. When you trust people, lean on your understanding, lean on your intuition, lean on your instincts, lean on your peace. The peace, when your peace leaves you, you should know something is off. Don't say, I trust them, now I trust them. They will not do it. You're getting yourself to be hurt real well. So you should be really careful to lean on your understanding of the person. You cannot know someone fully at once or in one year or 10 years. So you keep knowing them as they change or as you observe things about them because they will keep revealing themselves without even knowing. But if you trust them and say, oh, I really trust them, I cannot disbelieve this. No, lean on your understanding. Lean on your intuition. Listen to that thought that is crossing your mind and analyze it. Checkmate those things that you need to checkmate to see. Can I keep trusting this person? Or should I say something here? Do not ignore the information and data that you've gathered concerning that person, good and bad. Don't ignore it. No matter how sweet they are, even when I say lean on your understanding, what I mean by lean on your understanding is listen to yourself, listen to your instinct, listen to your intuition. Don't ignore things that you see that might go off. Do not ignore. Listen to those things. It's not as if just depend on yourself. Whatsoever you think they are bad people, I said it that way. 
No, listen and analyze the things you feel, the things you've seen, the data you've received concerning someone. Don't get played, dear Christian. Do not get played. You have a wise father in heaven. So be wise as your father in heaven is wise. Trust God to protect you from people. That would be my final word. Thank you for watching this video. I am Uwe Mepan. This is my YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed this video or you've learned anything from it, please subscribe to this channel. Smash the subscribe button. <laughs> Use the word smash. Give me a thumbs up here. Come under the comment section. Let's discuss. Let's talk about this. Trust is a crucial thing. And there are a lot of people that have been hard. Let me hear your stories. Can we talk? Thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.